Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to clarify that towards the end of the video, maybe a little earlier, uh, things get a little wonky with uh, some very minor audio distortion and a little stuttering. I have no idea what happened, but while recording the video, my capture software decided to have a seizure, and I tried my best to fix it to make it look as not a not as much of a garbled mess as possible. Um, Maybe I'll look into optimizing OBS for that because my Elgato. I've, I've been I've been being lazy and using the Elgato capture, and yeah, lately it's been uh, it's been having a lot of seizures mid recording, and that's set me back a ton. So um, bear that in mind, pun not intended. And I apologize for any wonkiness towards the end of the video. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. Hey guys, Sparta here. After I don't know how long of me not doing anything, my life pretty much got absorbed by all the stuff that came out. Mainly Monster Hunter Iceborne, and then Link's Awakening, and then Astral Chain, and my, I don't know, all my time got sapped. <laughs> but uh, I'm finally back in Smash. Um, I got like two days worth of playing Banjo when Astral Chain came out, and I was playing that, and oh my god, just, I got so distracted that I, I neglected everything, my streaming, this, but I'm back. <laughs> and honestly, I miss it because, you know, even though I'm brand new to all of this, this is really therapeutic for me, just because, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's different. It's different when I play a game in, like, quiet solitude and playing, you know, while recording or streaming, but enough about that. This isn't what this is. This is not what this is about. Bleh. As my parrot agrees with me in the background. I'm going to be doing the uh, Banjo Spirit board <laughs> in this. I was going to do the Persona 5 one, uh, you know, just as a, as a lead up, but that never happened. So let's just go straight into Banjo, right? <laughs> Man, it's just, it's weird seeing Banjo characters again. What am I doing as Roy? I gotta do this the right way, man. Well, that was a really loud tap on the start button. <laughs> um, let's see, green, right? Uh, I already forgot how to, you know, <laughs> I already forgot how to manage my. There it is, safe teams. Uh. Oh man. Uh, I guess I'll save this team. Uh. Big. In hindsight, I probably should have checked, <laughs> but oh well, that's just how it is sometimes, right? Uh, I guess Beast Ganon? I, I feel like being lame, so I'm just gonna go with the good old gi Metal Giant, if I can ever find them. Uh, by last use, they should be up here, right? Please? Oh yeah, uh, Great Zephish. Nice way to plug Splatoon into this video, something that I've neglected for a long time. And Sleepy Toad. I'll save this. As Beast Ganon Big. This setup basically trivializes almost every spirit battle, so... Let's see how long it takes for us to get this done. Oh god, this is an HP battle! <laughs> There we go. Two solid hits, and it's over. <laughs> Buzz bombs. I believe these guys are in almost every single stage, or every single world. Let's see, after this, a Jiggy Piece. Of course it'd be Kirby. Let's see, what do I have on Skull Kid? Rathalos and Victinia. Oh. Alright, Isaac, I guess you'll have to do. The weird version of Isaac that not many people want to remember. <laughs> Isaac, Dark Dawn, big. Ah, Isaac. 
the Nintendo protagonist everyone wants to see, but we'll, we probably never will. Oh god, where the hell am I? What the heck? Oh, there I am. Oh god, this giant might actually be bad for this. Oh god. Giant is actually bad for this. Wow. Okay. It's like Nintendo knew, man. They knew. Guess we'll just go with regular Skull Kid. Just because I need the jump height and the speed. Of course it'd have to be this map, though. Of course it would. I probably shouldn't have used a smash attack there. Oh god, one left. There we go, nice kick to the head. Banjo's long lost sister that we, that only appeared in Banjo Kazooie, I think. Does she appear in Nuts and Bolts? I never played that game. I felt that that game was a personal attack on what I liked about Banjo, so I never bothered. Ready? Go! Yep. Giant makes giant with color advantage pretty much makes this uh makes most spirit battles really really easy. Jinjos. This music. I, I don't even think I have color advantage. I think it's like combat point advantage as well. I guess uh, my parrot in the background is going to be my Kazooie, huh? <laughs> oh man, these poor Game & Watches. Oh god, the down airs. Oh god, no. I lost my gimmick. There we go. AI has no idea what air dodging is. But there's something that I learned is that you don't you don't play competitively against AI. You just throw out F smashes and they walk into it. If you try to play smart, they'll punish you for it. <laughs> Save teams. Uh DK has bottles the mole. <laughs> DK's tiny to boot. Nice. Ah, wow, invisible to reference the fact that he's a ghost. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, bumbo jumbo e combo cum. <laughs> Man, this is this is actually a trip down memory lane. All right, so green, so that we would want red. Gold me sword fighter. Ready? Go! I don't know why, but seeing like these special gold spirit battles reminds me of like for anyone who's played Marvel uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three, the. Uh, the uh, her her villain heroes versus heralds, and I died. I actually lost myself. <laughs> oh, okay, I just need to kill me, Sword Fighter. I'll get getcha. I should probably do that then. I just kind of turned my brain off. That's that, that's what tends to happen.
Oh god, it's one of these where the AI just runs away the whole time. <gasps> the AI air dodged? Excuse me? <gasps> if that hit, that would have that would have been it. This is actually very annoying. There we go. He foolishly jumped into it. Ah, Grintilda. As King DDD. Somewhat appropriate. And we're good. Alright, we're good. Whoops, there was a little bit of an interruption. Somebody at the door had to take care of it. Is Dr. Mario supposed to be Klungo? Oh, is this what the, is this it? Like, I have to get a, po a poison immunity spirit. <sighs> Fine. Oh god. I forgot the menus for spirit battles are so weird and clean. I didn't realize that the game would intentionally start me out with, like, no HP. Uh, what made me immune to poison floor? Uh, floor four, summer floor, poison. Okay. Reduces it. Reduces it. Grants immunity to poison. Oh, poison heals. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll take that. Mmm, give me that. That sounds absolutely delicious. Thank you, Bayonetta. Oh no! Oh sweet, I'm I'm oh okay. So are the Doctor Mario supposed to represent Klungo? What's going on here? All right, this is actually getting really fucking annoying. Oh nice, the AI just kind of screwed over the King DDD. I don't know why I forgot Dr. Mario's name. Thank you, Madam Butterfly, because this would have been extremely annoying without you. Screw you, Dr. Mario. Get out of here. Nobody likes your mobile game. Oh, God. There you go. Just accept death, Edie. Please just accept death. Victory! Cannon ending. Gruntilda. And there we go. Wait, what does Gruntilda give? Poison power up? Oh, okay. It's like Madam Butterfly, except it makes you beefy. Nice. Other DLC characters, I guess? I don't know. There it is. For clearing it, we get 10,000 gold. As if it means anything. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, oh I see something, those two coming soon slots, right? Well, I guess that'll wrap it up. Um, I don't know what'll come next. Most likely some Mario Maker, just because I have a lot of levels stacked up that I intended to do. But obviously my time got sapped in tombs that came out, as well as Iceborne. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for watching, um, hopefully I'll be back later in the week to upload something else. I said most likely Mario Maker, still working on editing the Sheldon's picks for the Splatling. Um, I'll have some announcements in that video regarding Splatoon stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm repeating myself a lot, but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.